Welcome, friends, to the Beaver Dam. We're going to have a damn fine time talking about my favorite 10 characters. This is my favorite 10 characters, not your favorite 10 characters, and not the best 10 characters in the game. These are my top 10 favorite characters. This is a member-requested video. If you want to be able to request your own video, I do do a poll each week for our members, and so you get to choose what guide or video you want to see each week. So if you are considering and you want something like that, go check out the link in the description below. I have a link there that'll take you to the page to become a member you can take a look at the different tiers and see what you would like uh, but regardless of the tier you get to help out with deciding what videos you like to see so jumping right in we're gonna jump into number 10 with number 10 it's kind of an interesting one i don't think a lot of people will agree with me but this guy single-handedly changed my view of galaxy of heroes um this is an original character to swago you'll kind of see a uh you know, a, a look at the perfect PP kind of idea. Um, when I say PP, I mean passion project, of course. But when you're looking at characters that I love and PPs, passion projects that I love, it means it blends characters that I love in Star Wars canon and characters that are good in the game into one. And that is a perfect PP for me. And so Gene Ocean Brood Alpha is going to be on the low side where it's a good character in the game, but it's not something that's like also uh, going to be super important to me myself. But he single handedly changed how I looked at the game because before I had him, I had just a regular old um, Phoenix team. This was long before Krex came to the game. And it just showing the power difference between the Geonosians versus Phoenix changed the way I look at this game. Loved it so much. This was long before I started watching uh, content creators. This was three years ago, basically. And I just love him still to this day. He's a great character. He has a pre-taunting tank he summons. I use him with Sith Eternal to beat JMK. He's just a great all-around character and i don't think he'll ever fully fall out of the meta especially with things like the pogglecron coming to the game but jumping into something a little bit more useful i use it against a lot more higher up teams we're going to jump into number nine number nine is the dark trooper this sexy beast hits like a freight train and it doesn't matter what level he is i used him at gear nine way back when and I say way back when, like a year, year and a half ago, and I would use it to take down all kinds of teams that were relic teams with a gear nine dark trooper. I don't know how many of you have played in the early game recently. Maybe some of you are new players and you've seen how terrifying this character is early on because if he hits you, he one taps your guys. This guy is terrifying. I love him. For someone who's not very important in canon, besides the fact that Dark Troopers have been around a long time in canon, super cool character. I love his kit. I love how hard he hits. He's just a solid, interesting character in this game. Uh, but, you know, jumping into more of things in canon, we're going to jump into number seven. Number eight. My bad. That was my bad. Number eight. Number eight's interesting to me, Aiden Versio. Aiden Versio is not my favorite character in canon, I'll admit that. I wasn't a big fan of her in Battlefront 2. I did like the campaign to Battlefront 2. Wasn't a huge fan of her character. Regardless, though, she is amazing in this game, and I love her kit. She takes things that are worthless, all of these non-leader Imperial Troopers, and she makes them amazing. A basic that deals crazy damage, a full swarm with a stun, revives anti-rebel synergies like it's just a absolutely banger team and if wampa wasn't in the game she would be right up there in the top of the meta and i love to see it um you know adp one of our longtime viewers uh, swears by her brought her up to relic nine is taking out wampas with her and it's you know entertaining to see very very interesting kit very very cool character great character early on Something that helped me a ton at gear 8 with just a Zeta. Don't sleep on this character. Also, great pilot. One of the best ships in the game. Going on from here, you know, we, we're going we're gonna to kind of continue with our overall idea of these are characters that aren't necessarily my favorite in canon, but they're still good characters. We'll jump into number 7. Number 7. We got Savage Opress. Number seven is kind of an interesting one because, yes, he's only usable in one game mode, but he's one of my favorite characters. He was 
really free to play friendly. Uh, I don't like this character in canon. I never have, even as a kid. I was like, oh, his name's Savage Opress. Okay. Uh, very on the nose. Uh, but love the character in game. He has single handedly changed my roster, and he should change yours too. Uh, this is one of the most free to play friendly things they've ever done in the game, especially for those people who don't fully understand mods, because you don't really need good mods. You just need some good primaries, and you're good. So honestly, this has been transformative in a lot of ways, and I love him, so don't sleep on him. Uh, with that, we will jump into our number six. And our number six, this is where we're starting to get into characters that are that perfect PP. So let's jump into number six. With number six, we have General Skywalker, Gas, if you will, standing for General Anakin Skywalker. I love this character's kit. It's so interesting and so cool. On top of that, Anakin has always been my favorite since I was a kid. I was always like, Darth Vader was my favorite, Anakin was my favorite. Uh, you know, growing up, Anakin is a lot less my favorite, but I do like the version of Anakin we see in episode three and in, you know, the Clone Wars old 2D cartoons as well as the 3D cartoons. That is the Anakin that I vibe with and I enjoy the most. Even then, he has his flaws. Regardless, cool character. This was my first passion project, my little PP after Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and I've never regretted going for it. You know, being able to use two abilities in each turn is so much fun. Having an armor shred, so nice. Being able to ramp damage every time an enemy gains a buff is so cool. The fact that he's taunting in front of his troops, you know, literally taunting the enemy with his insults kind of idea of like, you know, being out there and being the loud, obnoxious person that he is, keeping fire off of his allies. I love that so much. Uh, like the, the flavor for this kid is amazing. And the fact that he reduces health as he hits people, super super helpful for so many teams love this character you can see why he's in my number six slot uh but we're gonna go into the top five now and so here we have number five number five kind of a guilty pleasure if i'm gonna be honest number five is just you know one of my favorite characters of all time in canon i've always loved mara jade as a character since i first read the thrawn trilogy uh, i've always loved the color of her lightsaber all of the books that regard her is just very, very interesting to me from her time in the Empire, you know, her time after the Empire. I've always loved the idea of Mara Jade. And on top of that, she's a fantastic character. You can take Emperor Palpatine, you can take her at level 70 for both of them and have an immediate team to take down Geos, to take down all kinds of stuff. Like, this team is absolutely banger when Mara Jade's there. Mara Jade doesn't have as much plug and play viability, which is, you know, why it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure number five but her canon appearances are kind of winning out for me where she's my favorite character and she's good in the game, and so she gets pushed up to number five for me. Uh, just her turn meter train, just unparalleled in this game. I love it so much, and makes you know Emperor Palpatine back in the meta, and I do love that very much, especially for the flavor. But going into number four, you'll kind of see a shift from you know, guilty pleasures. Number four, this guy has fallen a bit in recent years. That's fine though, he's still freaking amazing and Malgus brought him back into the meta hardcore. As an offensive team, still one of my favorite offensive teams to this day. I love this character. I love the fear mechanic. I love the shock, especially, you know, working together with other allies like the Dark Side Bastila, being able to cause that shock to hit everyone a second time. Uh, you know, reducing cooldowns on basics when they hit the leader. Um, you know, the leader is, his leader ability is absolutely amazing for his team. The death mark is so incredibly good. Enemies not being able to assist on him, the equalizing health. There's just so much to this kit that is just so cool. This was another character like Geonosian Brood Alpha that just leveled up my gameplay because I went from Phoenix up to Geonosian Brood Alpha, and then way up to Darth Revan. And like, it just once again, completely changed how I look at this game and love this character's kit. And also one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars. And so definitely deserves his place at number four. Uh, but jumping into number three, we're gonna get into some people that we've had for both a long time and a short time. We have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren as our number three. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren just makes sense as a number three, I'm going to be honest. Uh, he's one of the best GLs in the game. Uh, he is the only bearable character in the sequels for me. 
Uh, and on top of that, he was my first GL, but also I love this kit, this idea of siphoning, you know, this rage and he's, he was a very rage filled character. Um, and so like this, this idea of siphoning up strength, I love it so much. Just, it can take out anything given enough time. You know, if you can survive long enough, you can take out JMK. If he survives long enough, you can take out Lord Vader. It's all about surviving long, long enough. Some of my favorite moments of playing this game has been soloing basically every single one of the old raids with just Supreme Leader Kylo Ren because he's just so cool, so interesting. I love his kit. 100% belongs in my top three for me. Uh, we're going to jump into top, top two and we'll see if it's surprising to you guys. Uh, I feel like with recent events, number two shouldn't be very surprising. Number two, our beautiful Darth Bane. Now, is this the canon appearance that I want? Not necessarily. I like the old canon. I love the Darth Bane trilogy. Some of my favorite books I've ever read for Star Wars. Really, really good, especially if you like lightsaber combat. My favorite depiction of lightsaber combat in a book is uh, the Darth Bane trilogy. So definitely something to check out. Uh, so it's not my favorite canon appearance, but I do love Darth Bane as a character in general. And this kit is just beautiful. Not only does it have some, you know, very ancient Sith vibes, feels very much like a, like some stuff. I talked about this in my video, but, you know, has some things that feel very similar to, like, staffs sucking in force powers from, like, uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, things like that. And the rule of two is just so flavorful. And the character is just amazing. I, I love this character. I hope they never nerf him. Uh, but... Going from there to my number one, I feel like my number one is the perfect blend of, you know, it's a perfect PP. It just is. It's the perfect PP to me. Star Killer. Star Killer not only is great as a character, like he's great in any roster. He can take down Galactic Legends. If you know how you how to use him, he's freaking awesome. His flavor is beautiful for his kit but he has single-handedly the most cool animation in the game which is pulling it out of the sky and i love that so much and so this is my number one favorite character that i've ever gotten this is a guilty pleasure farm by far i went out of my way to get him even though nooch did a roster review of me and was like i don't know why you're going for star killer buddy it's because i love him it's my passion project it's my big pee, -pee. i'm going for it uh, I went for it. I've loved it. I've never regretted it. Love Star Killer so much. Uh, you know, his plug and play viability is not there as much, but I loved these games as a kid. Yes, I think they're a little ridiculous nowadays, but I did love them as a kid. And overall, this character is just so much fun. If you're ever hitting a point where you're like, I'm kind of bored of this game, or you're sitting there, and you're like, oh, I just really need a farm to spark my interest. Star Killer's the one for you, dude. I promise it will change your view of the game. Just like GBA, just like Darth Revan. It changed my view of the game because it gave me a passion project I enjoyed so, so much. I love using this team. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's my 10 uh, favorite characters. We do have a couple you know, uh, honorable mentions, if you will. And that's Kylo Ren, because I use this guy to solo so much. I'm kind of in the way for him, but right there, Kylo Ren just did so much. I do love Kylo Ren, the OG Kylo. He does so much for you in the early game. Uh, the other one's pretty new, but it requires two people, which is why I felt like I couldn't put it in the top. I've, I haven't had as much fun as in this game as I've had in the last couple of months with things like Darth Bane, Star Killer, Savage Opress, but then especially these two right here, Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando have been so incredibly much fun. Don't sleep on them, get them up to gear 12, get them up to relic five, watch them solo or duo a gas. They're hilarious. I love watching them put in work. It's amazing. So definitely an honorable mention, but what do you think of my top 10? Do you disagree with any of them? I'm sure you do, but what are your top 10? I'd love to hear. Throw it in the comment section uh, because I'm curious kind of how, how much people push towards because I'm very connected. If I like them in canon and I like them in the game, I put them higher on my list. But then if they're good in the kit, lower my list. If they're good in, you know, as a in just canon, I like them in canon, they're very low on my list. Like Thrawn, I would love to throw on this list, but I just, he's not going to be here because his kit's just not there nowadays. 
I would love a new Thrawn, though. So let me know in your, the comments section what your guys' favorite top 10. I'd love to discuss this with you and kind of see what you guys think. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, if you do want to become a member, please check out the link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.